Welcome, welcome, welcome back, Scrubs. Here, Scrub here with Infernoman for a new episode of the Pokemon X and Y Randomized Soul Link. Uh, last episode, if you uh, don't know what happened, check out the card up above where you don't really need to discuss it. But we're here and we're ready to go fight this old geezer. This get our fifth? Is this no our fourth? Our fourth, fourth. gym badge, right? I'm I'm ready. Are you ready? I am ready as I'll ever be. Are you in it? Are you getting in it? I am now, because, you know, I didn't go to talk to Ramos at the end of the last episode, right before we I were finishing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, again, check out that card above. Versus Ramos. He has, he has some large, um, are those supposed to be, like, hedgers? Yeah, they're hedge clippers. They're just scissors. They're he's big starting scissors. Off, he's starting off with a septile, which makes me happy, but it also makes me sad because I have to kill a septile. He sent out uh, a Meganium for me, which is like, I think it's fitting that he just sent out with two grass starters. Yeah, because it's, it's a little sexual bit, type. Yeah, <laughs> that fits a little bit too well. Too well. Um, but yeah. I'm having, yeah. I'm having a sudden realization I don't really have anything for grass types here. <laughs> you don't? Oh, well, I, I, I mean. I, I have Queen with Poison Sting, but that's about the most I have for super effectiveness. I guess I have Endeavor in Gross. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. I'm, 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 I'm doing all right. I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good, I think. Can we poison it? No. Okay, it's gonna take three hits to knock this out. Also, in front of me, you can't tell, but the viewers can tell. On my screen, I'm rocking a a nice uh, kimono. A I don't. It's it's pronounce a hatton or something like that that's the type of kimono it is basically and it's very comfy it's really good it's like a padded cotton version and so it's like mm. it's very comfy i've been rocking it lately because it just came in basically full what i'm on. saying is it, lo it looks really good full on weeb today i am that's me that i am the embodiment of a weeb but on like on, on the good side of things not like not like those other kind of gross stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No body um, pillows. <laughs> no. I actually don't. I, I'm glad I don't. You know, I I can take pride in that. But, like, kimonos? Yes, that's that's me. I, I'm there, 100%. Um, but, yeah. It's, like, really comfy right now because it is getting closer to summer for me. Um, it is getting a little bit too warm but yeah yeah uh it was starting to get warm here in iowa and then immediately after it snowed again so you know that's how <laughs> iowa is as oh, soon as the fun. snow's gone it comes back in another wave there we go there we go um i guess i'll just send out death he's sending out a secret death assuming... is, is, is my bulky one I really expected him to use a potion here because his Chimeco is on 1 HP, but he just let me finish it off, so I guess his Chimeco isn't as important to him. <laughs> he doesn't even care, he's like, eh, it's whatever. He's like, Sitting it's a pretty whatever Pokemon, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he's just like, you know what, the game randomized and gave me this thing, I don't even like it, so just finish it off, I don't care. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, he used a Hyper Potion on his Sigilith. He's sending out a Rhyperior, I mean, he sent out a Rhyperior, which is good, because I have a Venusaur. I didn't even have to Mega, because four times old, effectiveness. A big old frog. Miss Magius. So, I, I, you know, so far this gym has been too, too, too hard. Um, Landon, help me out. What, what's our game plan for the rest of this episode? Because, aren't we, are we going to the factory after this? Uh, no, the Pokeball Factory is in the 6th gym town. We're actually gonna oh. head to the, uh, electrical place, whatever it's called, the power, whatever you call it. Oh, no. Because we're, we're gonna, we're gonna power up Lumio City. I think we're gonna get to the part where I, like, kind of lose a lot of interest into this game. Like, that was kind of <laughs> the, the area where I'm like, alright, uh, this is, uh... Dragalge is Dragon Poison, right? Because that's what he's sending yes. out now. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's, it's Dragon Poison. That I wish I had. Correct. I wish I, I wish I had your Alakazam right now. 
Um, don't my ground type doesn't have any ground type moves. I literally don't know what to use against this thing. Um, uh, a good move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out to Caesar because Steel can't be poisoned, and I can just try to go with whatever I can. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's solid. I'll go ahead and use I, Metal Claw. I I I tried to use Psychic on a, a Skunk Tank because you know poison, but then I forgot it's dark, so <laughs> kind of looked like a fool for a second. It's fine. It's whatever. I'm just gonna spam Metal Claw until it's dead. It, it's just using Double Team right now, so. I guess yeah. it's just gonna create multiples of itself, and I missed. But it used Water Pulse, so, you know, it did nothing. Thank you, Dragalgy! The Skunk, the skunk <laughs> Tank keeps poisoning me. Well, toxicing me, which is even worse. I don't like it. He's gonna use a potion now, isn't he? No! <laughs> it was so close to being dead. Why didn't you use it on the Chimeco? Is it really that not good to you? Yeah. I mean, Chimeco is not really that good of a Pokemon, let's be honest. You don't see people using it for a reason. Oh, Aftermath. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Caesar, it only, used, it only used double team twice. You can hit a move. There you go. Good job, buddy. Good job. I'm, l I'm a little bit scared, Landon. Uh, Endeavor might die by a Toxic. So switch out. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like after, after the death. It's at the end of the turn, so it's like, I can't really oh, do no. much. It might not. I think it'll live. Okay, um, better not, because Sasha. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Did it, like, survive on one? <laughs> it survived on two. And let, let, me, let me say this. It gained a level up by this kill. So I think the level Sick. up saved it. Like... That's... <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. Um, oh my gosh. To celebrate, I'm sending out Sasha against his last Pokemon, Cafagragus. Oh, do and it. Do it. I'm gonna oh, man, that was foul play. That was scary. Oh <laughs> gosh. I would have been really sad too. I love I love Endeavor. Oh, I forgot about Mummy. So if this Mummy. thing lowers my if this thing lowers my stats, then it won't boost my boost. I don't know. Defiant means if you lower the stats of the defense the attack gets higher. I don't remember exactly how the um <laughs> the ability works. I don't but know either, man. Matter. It doesn't matter. Someone don't down in the heal, comments, please. tell tell us how it actually works. Fact check us through both uh Cerebi and then through uh Bulbapedia, the better source. In, in that order, Cerebi first. <laughs> in that order. Yeah, yeah. Well you it's like a straw man or uh, argument. You gotta set it up with like something that you know it's like you can easily refute, you know. Cerebi not being that good and obviously Bulbapedia being better, you know. You keep on believing those lies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just cursed oh. itself. It what? It just cursed itself after he healed. So oh. Kirishima is getting affected by curse, but it's okay. Hopefully, this iron head finishes it off. Maybe it's pro plays. Yes. I won't. I beat Ramos. Now we just gotta get you to beat Ramos. Okay, <laughs> I'm kind of stuck in the middle, and hear me out. This is the reason why. I'm versus the love disc. I have James out, and like turn one, it immobilized me with love. So it's not my fault. It's love, man. I got Mud Slap as the TM. Greatest TM of all time, Ramos. Thank you so much. Hey man, lower the accuracy. <laughs> That's where it's at. Alright, I'm switching out. James, literally for like probably like six, six turns now, was just doing nothing. And like, Love Disc wasn't even doing that much damage either. So it was just like, nothing was happening for like six turns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, so I just switched into uh, spoons, and spoons should be able to whoop it out once it mega mega evolves. And then we should hopefully easily wrap through this the rest of the team. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, so so here here's what it says to, for defiant. It boosts the Pokemon's attack stat when its stats are lowered, which yeah. is kind of weird. Like if if somebody uses a move that lowers the attack, then it'll just raise the attack again. 
So that'd be pointless. It just balances out, negates it. I mean, yeah, it's a good thing, but it's kind of it's kind of weird. You know? It is weird. Like if a Pokemon uses a Growl, Defiant will just cancel it out. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah, it's not bad, but it is weird. It's not like something crazy. It's just like, huh? Okay. Okay, that's what we're doing. All right. All right, I guess. Um, right. I'm a little bit scared. Okay. okay, I'm switching out. I I put James out versus a Walrein, but Walrein is part ice, and I don't think James is bulky enough to take any like heavy hitting ice moves. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Walrein just went for the end core for some reason. A little bit weird. All right. How many how many Pokemon does he have left? He has uh two more. I almost wanted okay. to say three. And then he went for Aura Beam. So I don't know why he led with the Encore for some reason versus James, but all right. <laughs> but I really I really want to go down this slide, but I'm gonna wait don't for you to finish. Wait for me. We're gonna do it together, like <laughs> like soul partners that we are. Unlike how it's been this whole journey, where you're just like, yeah, we're a team, let me just leave you in the dust. I'm just running around Ramos here. They they tell you that you can't run with scissors, but they never told you you can't run around with someone with scissors. I feel like that's, like, just as bad. <laughs> if not I, worse. I mean, hey, I'm they're not saying. open. I mean, I guess. I guess, I mean, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, this warring. Why do you get to be so- Oh, I was just gonna say, why is this lore raid so bulky? And then Lily just got healed with a, a hyper potion. <laughs> so you guys Sorry. have two, You have two options here. You can either watch Noah battle Ramos, or you can watch me swing back and forth on this vine. Literally the same amount of entertainment. <laughs> 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 I think it would be right. funny if they made it, since, you know, there's a net and everything that if you could like accidentally fall off the rope if you swing on it too many times <laughs> and it's just you're like oh and then you get up and you're like you just like shrug your hands you're like ah that was weird <laughs> i'd be fine i'd i'd enjoy that come on walrein die dustnor or death is literally my best pokemon just because he's the bulkiest one it's it's good it's great like my other ones are good. Don't don't get me wrong, but like, I've been Death using, is holding the team together. I've been using Queen less and less, so it's kind of like the opposite for me for that pair. I um, mean, I feel like for your team, Queen is like a safe bet. Like mm -hmm. someone bulky you could send in if needs be. But for the, like for most case scenario, it's pretty uh, you know, everybody else you have is pretty powerful. Yeah. Also, for your case, um, Landon, uh, his last Pokemon is a uh, Politoed, and he swaggered me. <laughs> Swag. No, no. Absolutely. I have pimp. one. I have one full heal, and I am gonna use it. <laughs> also, I don't even think I use physical moves. I think I use special moves, so which is kind of a bummer for me. Also, speaking of Pol uh, Politoed. Um, Landon, which do you prefer, Politoed or Polyrath? Gosh, this question, it, it's always questions like this that get me because, like... Ah, oh, he swaggered I, me again! I use them... Stop! I, I've used them both a lot. It's kind of like Slowbro and Slowking, which one I prefer. Um, yeah. Except for there's, like, uh, a key difference, and one's way better than the other. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. I, I, I hit myself with confusion and I almost died. And then he did a he did Parish Song. I don't know why he did Parish Song. That was kind of dumb, but hey. Power to you? So I'm just going to switch out. Not let James die and yeah. So which one is it? Are you did you do you like the the good one or do you like the bad one? I'm going to say Cause... Poly Wrath because Politoed just doesn't look like it belongs with the rest of the line. Especially since, you know, it doesn't have the gloves anymore and it has a mouth and like neither of those things are on the rest of the line. Like and the rest sucks. of them have gloves <laughs> and it's 
It just doesn't have the fighting typing. Like, honestly, I don't know why they created Politoed in the first place. Because they wanted a crappy Pokemon. <laughs> I, th I think <laughs> the, the way they really did it is because they were playing Gen 2 Pokemon. They they said, they made a bunch of Pokemon and said, man, these are bangers. And they're like, how about we give some, like, evolution, random evolutions to Pokemon that existed before and pre-evolutions. Like, well, like, <laughs> I think that's cool. Like, I enjoy that. But the problem is, like, it just didn't work with that line. Like, if it was more creative oh, no. and built off of it better, like, then I think it would have worked well. Because I, I like the idea of that, where it's like Pokemon have different possibilities of what it evolves to. Like, I think that's really cool. But, like, yeah, Polito just sucks. But hey, I beat him. Okay, good. Wait there, because, uh... I got, I got my badge. It's pretty... Epic. This is our first gym we've beaten with zero casualties. Is it really? Yeah, we lost uh, one Pokemon. <laughs> it almost to, wasn't. To... I mean, <laughs> <laughs> also double edge. I got double edge. It's like not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not mud. Better slot. than mud slot. <laughs> oh yeah, st st still wait for me. I'm almost there. I I was getting ready to go down the slide for when you were finished, and I accidentally actually went down the slide. So I'm wait, on my what? way up. I'm on my way up, so we can go down it together. No, it's too late. I went I'm down the slide. There. No, I'm I, there. <laughs> I, I was I was trying to be funny and just leave you in the dust by going down the slide, but it turned out you had already done that to me, so. <laughs> I left you in the dust, and then I wanted to be nice and come back up, and you went. Yeah, and I was like, oh, oh, thank you, but no. Also, I didn't grab this item. Hey, it was a potion! No way! Yay, our favorite item. Those. Wow, this is fantastic. I love wasting my time. It's the greatest thing in the world. Almost like there. Potions. I'm on the last rope. Okay, Landon, I lied. Second to last rope. Landon, where's this <laughs> factory that you speak of? Uh, we're supposed to go south. But, okay. yeah. Well, let's All head right. south. I made it to the slide. <laughs> Epic. Also, while... While you're doing this, I I have a question for today, or, or topic, you could say. Um, as we said last episode, uh, the the new season of My Hero Academia is coming out, and we're both excited. We love My Hero Academia, um, and so I thought it'd be great to bring up this conversation because we haven't talked about it yet, and it's it's a debate, which I don't know if you know about this, but um, it's a discussion about uh, My Hero. My Hero Academia, uh, and Black Clover, oh. and the comparison between each other. Do you know anything about this? Basically, like, which one's better? I didn't also, know that what's... It, it was a discussion thing, like, I could see the comparisons, but I honestly don't see how they're similar. <laughs> oh, they're so similar, what are you talking about? One, both shonen. Two, um, because they're shonen, they actually have pretty similar uh, story types where, one, they are both uh, stories that focus on a protagonist where it's zero to hero, to where um, Asta from Black Clover, he's in a magic world and he's the only one who doesn't have magic. And then you have uh, Deku or Midoriya from My Hero who doesn't have any quirks. And it's their journey to where... Uh, Midoriya wants to become the number one hero, the greatest one, and and Asta wants to become the Wizard King, which is the number one. And from there, it's about that kind of dynamic and how that works. Um, to where uh, My Hero Academia, how people uh, who have good quirks do better and whatnot, and that whole idea. And then Black Clover is very much more on the side of like status to where like nobility versus uh, being a peasant and whatnot and the differences there and the idea that like even a peasant can do things and yeah. So they, uh -huh. they have similar stories, but not the same. I would yeah. say. Yeah. Are you in the Badlands, by the way? Yes, I'm here. I'm, ne I'm here now. All right. Did you just run into your counter because it's just. A, basically, it's a static, like a bunch of dirt. Did you already get it? You. Yeah, it's oddish. So ah, it's not. I wanted to get it before you. What did you get? I got oddish. I got pincer. Pincer's great, baby. but like the Pokemon you're getting paired up with. 
Oh, hey, man. Not the greatest. Power in the box. Vileplume, Bro. man. Vileplume is, is power, okay? That is true. It shook three Catch times it. and broke out. <laughs> See? The power! <laughs> Blossom is another one of those examples of Gen 2 Pokemon that were like evolutions to previously existing Pokemon that shouldn't exist because they lose yeah. its hype. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but back to my discussion, my debate, mm. some may say. Um, a, a big part that some people will bring up when talking about which one's better and whatnot is uh, a lot of times Black Clover. Oh, I killed Pinsir. Whoops. It's the end of the world, I can't use Oddish. Oh no! It's just as bad as when I killed your Mew. <laughs> no. Just as bad. I just ran into <laughs> Golbat. Honestly, all the encounters here suck. And they're okay, all Gen 1 poison types. I'm waiting until like, I run into like Arceus. I'd be like, oh, okay, okay. well, that's fine. <laughs> Kirishima <laughs> must be really slow because they couldn't even get away from a stupid cool bat. Oh, I could have gotten uh, Darumaka, probably my favorite uh, Gen 5 Pokemon. Oh, hey, Snivy. <laughs> See, that would have been pretty solid, but yeah. whatever. Whatever. I, but can't even t I can't even take a step because every time I get out of battle, another Pokemon spawns in front of me. So, back to my discussion, my topic. This is important, Landon. Our our YouTube careers stake on this on this discussion that needs to be talked about. Um, so basically, the biggest thing that like a lot of people go to is a lot of people will say that My Hero Academia is boring. Those and, people are wrong. And especially <laughs> especially when comparing uh, My Hero to Black Clover, the biggest thing is the idea of the the battles and how the battles. Or black clovers are way more interesting, while the ones on my here are boring. Well, I've like twenty nine episodes into Black Clover right now, and oh. I'm just gonna say that I definitely like the Don't my you hero dare. battles more. Okay, <laughs> I was I thought you were gonna say Black Clover is, is trash. I was gonna be like, how dare you? No, I love Black Clover. I wouldn't be twenty nine episodes into it if I thought it was trash. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. Are we going just straight down? Okay, we are. It's literally just straight down. We're supposed to go to the left. Like, go all the way down Onto and go the... to the left. Yeah, 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 on the path. I see a scientist. Team yeah, Flare, yeah. something, something. Gardner's outfits. Thanks, dude. S hey, Team School Flare. Schoolboy Pansy <laughs> sent out a mammo swine. He's Whoa a there, Schoolboy Pansy. Hey, I got Leader Mia. Sent out Dodorio. Sure, that's how you pronounce it. Totally. I just realized I'm very stupid by keeping my rock steel type out against a ground type, but it used ice fang, so I'm good. I killed it. <laughs> also, uh, Mega Latios just learned uh, Luster Purge. Oh, wow. Which is that finally a quite, good move. Quite the move there. <laughs> I know, it's pretty great. I've been waiting for this. Um... But, what I would say, when talking about the, like, I mean, battle scenes, um, I would actually agree when people say that My Hero Academia's, like, fights are, like, boring in comparison to Black Clover. I wouldn't say in general they're boring, but, um, I think in general, compared to, like, most shonens and whatnot of what happening, if you just want action, Black Clover is way better. I think what My Hero actually... Academia does with its fight scenes is they do a way better job at like uh, um, showing a message. Like it's always something that like proves a story point or something like that. And so it's like the message behind it has so much more weight to it. And it may not be like the craziest battle or something like that, but the themes and what's going on story wise, I think they do a really good job at like uh, pushing that. Yeah. Like we see that with like the battle versus Todoroki like early on like that's a great great scene and it's like yeah technically not a whole lot happens like all it is is me flicking and hitting power one way and he's just shooting ice the other way like yeah maybe it's not the most interesting thing but it, like story-wise what's going on and whatnot is just 
I think they do a great job on that side of things. Mm -hmm. And and there is yeah. impressive like artwork and like animation that does go on through that at the same time. I yeah, I don't like, know. I, I haven't seen enough of Black Clover to you know it, really I would, judge I would say too this. much on it. I would say this, Landon. Um, the early on, so probably from where you're at, um, it's very uh, niche. It's it's not too crazy. Like the setup is, it's pretty good setup, and like seeing Asa with his uh, his his magic powers quotation mark is is very interesting to see early on how it puts up against uh, everybody else. But um, yeah, no, it gets way better. I would say. Like, it really much builds upon itself, especially with the action scenes. Like, later yeah. on, for sure, they, they do a lot of, uh, where they switch up the artwork style to do very much just, like, straight up, just black and white ink at very, very intense spots, like, later on. And they, they do a really good job later on, basically, is what I'm saying. Gotcha. But, story-wise, I think, I think My Hero Academia... Even though it's a, you know, it's a hero story, so it's pretty obvious what's going on, I still feel like it has more uniqueness to it, while Black Clover still gives the more, uh, general, uh, typical shonen fantasy thing. Like, it, it doesn't feel too brand new, what it's bringing. Like, it seems pretty typical, but it's, like, good typical. Yeah, gotcha. Are we supposed to be finding a key? Is that what we're doing? Uh, yeah, I'm you're lost. gonna need the dowsing machine and to go oh, past, no. past the, the bridge. The dowsing machine? <laughs> past, past the bridge, there's a big rock, and if you go up to it, it should be on that rock. Which which bridge? The bridge that you crossed that the Team Flare member was on. You have to be on the right side of it. It's by the professor. Okay, I went to the other bridge. My bad. Or the scientist. Let me go do it. Hey, look, chingling. You got Some anything? bells. <laughs> I always, I always love that that guy inside here. He's just like, "What do you mean you're gonna rescue us? You're just a kid." I, I always love that because, like, afterwards, I come back to him and it's just like, "So what hey. was that about me being a kid?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was oh, that, it's huh? a potion. No way. <laughs> nice. So I assume you're already in there. Yeah, just talking to these people. Left me in the dust. Wait, do we go inside the one to the left or one up above? Uh, the rock? No, oh. entrance. Okay, it's the one up above. Yeah. Yeah, the one the one over to the left is the one room that like Pokemon did nothing with. They set up as <laughs> possibly being as Zygarde or whatever, and then they did nothing. Nothing with it. A empty sphere of nothingness. Hiroshima. Yeah, I, I'm sure that more of the power plant was meant to be explored in, in like post -game. Pokemon Z. Like if they made Pokemon Z. If uh, they did it. The fact that they didn't showed so much is just like, ah, ah, ah. I that, feel like Zy Zygarde would be like held in the power plant and like you had to go through the power plant to, to save it and stuff. From it, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest reason why I hate X and Y. If I, if there's anything to hate about X and Y, sure, sure, the main bad guys are whatever. Like they're not that bad, and it's like, eh. But the biggest thing that I hate is I love myself the three sub legendaries. I love them. In every every Pokemon game, getting to see them. The thing is, the way that they did to make this be able to get them in this game was ridiculous. Because you couldn't, mm -hmm. basically. Like, I don't know. I think they did a, such a bad job with that. Yeah, you know? I agree. It, it, X and Y just feels like the most empty Pokemon games. It's, especially since, like, Hoopa and all of those Pokemon, they actually seemed, like, pretty interesting legendaries. Like, I would have been fine using, but, like, I don't know. Hoopa's more just... involved in Auras than it is in X and Y, and Zygarde is more involved in Sun and Moon. Yeah. It's like That's because they did nothing with it in X and Y, so like we have to yeah. we can at least do something with it now. I don't know. Um I'm gonna stop at this trainer here, uh That's I'm a good idea. Because we're 
We're I'm once we finish up this battle, we're gonna be wrapping it up for today's episode. Um, last thing though, I don't know. I think final thoughts on the topic. I think you should keep watching Black Clover. It's really good. It's so good. It, it's really good. I I don't know. I still feel like my I like my hero more. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I did fall in love with, and you'll see this much later on. Um, there's there's just themes of it that they pull off really well in Black Clover. Is you know there's that trope of uh, in all anime where it's like willpower, like Gurren Logan, that show very much hit on the idea of willpower will do everything. And Asta, the main character for Black Clover, embodies that, and he does it in such a great way, mm -hmm. just as most shonen protagonists do. Yeah, but, I, I, I basically, I, I started it, I think, about four or five days ago. And, you know, usually when I say that I'm starting an anime, I put it on Twitter. And uh, I already said, like, the day before that I started Kill a Kill. Because oh. a bunch of kids that watch my stream told me to do. And, mm -hmm. um... Well, so I I'm, I I'm a man, Landon. So, listen here. <laughs> listen, my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> keep going um so like i i tweeted out that i was watching kill a kill and one of them replied they're just like good and then the next day i said uh i'm watching black clover and no i didn't finish kill a kill and they said all right gonna unfollow now ah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not black that Clover's serious better black clover <laughs> i i think i think black clover will be more up your alley since it is like a it's, it's a good shonen just like mm -hmm. you know my hero yeah I'm definitely liking a lot, so. I I I think if I had to pick one or the other, I think I would probably say my hero. I, I I don't know. I just I really like my hero a lot more. It's just I don't know the themes that they hit on is really good. Don't get me wrong, Black Clover is great. They're both good, but if I had to pick one or the other, I think it would be my hero. And I think Landon, if you watched Black Clover, you would say Black Clover, because the only way you could actually prove me wrong is by watching Black Clover. <laughs> well, I, I'm like 30 episodes into it, so I've seen a lot of 30 it. 30 episodes, that's nothing! <laughs> Get out of here with that. That I'm team kidding. player battle's taken a while. No, I'm done. I just got done. Oh, okay. I just like to rant. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that's gonna do us today. Landon, any final words? Uh, besides I that, so besides the fact that you're gonna promise to watching Black Clover. Uh, as always, drink your water, eat your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next episode will be on Wednesday and it will be over in Fertile Mint. If you haven't subscribed to him already, I don't... Just subscribe to him. Do it. Just do it. Just click on the button. Click on the button. Okay, and that's it for today. I'm here, Scrub. And keep on scrubbing.